Hey everyone, this is another attempt of mine to make Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clarke into a quick book review. I am failing miserably time after time because I just descend into a rant of madness. So if that happens this time, I apologise. This is 1000 pages plus, just, uh, and it is of course about Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, two 19th century gentlemen and practical magicians. Now the story picks up where in Old England there used to be a lot of magic um, and it's uh, very much got its own kind of spin on things. There used to be a separate kingdom inside of England that was devoted to the king of magic, uh, who you will hear a lot about in this book. Um, but over time magic has just died off and died off and eventually it's become um, something that people call themselves magicians, but they're actually academics. There's no practical magic left uh, until Mr. Norrell um, puts himself forward with a practical demonstration uh, and he becomes England's first and only magician for a time. Quite a time, about a quarter of this chunk of a book is just Norrell. Eventually Jonathan Strange appears. He uh, does magic of his own, almost uh, instinctually, um, and therefore he becomes the second magician, and uh, Mr. Norrell and Jonathan Strange enter into a relationship of eventually uh, teacher and pupil. Uh, it doesn't last very long, um, because they're very different people. Uh, Norrell particularly likes to suppress uh, magic to other people, he likes to be the only one, um, but he also kind of likes Jonathan Strange's brand of magic and how he does things um so they, they have this kind of back and forth relationship and they split apart they come back together um it's the the choices of plot and timing are absolutely perplexing to me uh, i think susanna clark was given absolute free reign to do whatever she wanted and um i can see therefore that some people might absolutely love this book um but for me it is very much not a love. Um, it's I'm basically making this, I think, to warn other people that this book is a staggering commitment of time and I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I think with a good editor, this book could have been trimmed down to a third of the size that it is now and it would have been much better, much more enjoyable. Just my opinion, mine, just my opinion. But that's the, way, that's the way I take it. Uh, as it is, it is way too long and quite, unfortunately, boring. Um, the magic system in a thousand page book is a soft magic system. Um, but it's a very strange... I, I think Susanna Clark knows how the magic works. But in this book for a thousand pages you are not informed of how the magic works as a reader and i found that to be absolutely ridiculous as to why you wouldn't teach the reader what magic system you've got going because it just maintains this kind of vague feel to it all the way through um and some of the choices with like what the characters choose are just ridiculous like you just no one <laughs> No one would choose such a ridiculous thing. Um, as to the technical side of this book, and there is unfortunately a technical side, um, within these pages, there you go, perfect example on one page that I open, footnotes. And the footnotes are extensive and can go over multiple pages. Um, I have seen footnotes in this book go for six pages. Uh, they're not particularly interesting they're not particularly well done <laughs> they're just oh they just get in the way and it's just so distracting uh if you can't make it part of the story why is it in there a six page long footnote isn't a footnote i just madness but they're in there and they're in there all over the place and towards the end there's even footnotes that refer to previous footnotes but they don't even give you the page they just tell you like i uh, just <sighs> do you have to read them? I don't think you do. I mean, should they have been incorporated into the book generally? Probably. But then it just would have made it even longer, right? Because even the footnotes are written in a smaller print. Um, 
But anyway, moving on. There's also an oddity in the choice of spelling. Now, I'm not going to find this just flicking through, but some of the words uh, are spelt differently than a normal English um, user would spell them. And I have no idea why that was done. Absolutely not. It's not referenced. It's not, it's not covered. If you're looking for answers about what's done, it's not here. It's not in this book. Um, no, I, I, I fully understand if someone wants to call it great. If you're, if you're aligned with Susanna Clark mentally, this could be the best thing you've ever written, um, written the best thing you've ever read. I do not align with Susanna Clark on this, and I find it to be an awful commitment of time and therefore an awful waste of time. Um, I only originally picked this up because I was I was looking at a book and I just looked off to the side and there was a board game of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell and I thought if someone's made a board game of this it must be incredible uh, and I picked it up and I can only imagine now what kind of a nightmare that board game must be. Um, so I mean it it all comes together it all makes me make this video make this review and say if you're going to read this book this mammoth of a book um be willing to dnf be willing to get to the point where you say look i'm bored i've had enough and i'm going to put it down uh, and i would not be surprised if you reach that point very quickly or if you get very far and then like all the way through I could have just stopped at any point um, the ending that I always hold out for that I always think what if the ending's fantastic what is this, if it's a brilliant wrap-up of all the other stuff that's happened um, it just uh, it, it's not worth it um, <laughs> it's just not worth it there it is Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell by Susanna Clarke it's just not worth it it's too big it could have been edited down a massive amount and I believe arguably should have been. That's it. That's all I've got. It's a it's a red flag of a book, people. Um, so if you've read it, if you want to share an opinion on it with me, uh, if you'd like to fight in its corner, all those things you can do in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you around. Farewell.